This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Gamefly. Go to Gamefly.com slash TYT for your free trial membership. Uh, Bill O'Reilly is going to have a debate uh, with uh, David Silverman. He's the president of American Atheist Group. Uh, they put up billboards throughout the country, New York, Alabama, etc., uh, saying that religion was a scam and that you shouldn't buy into it. Now, they're atheists. That makes sense. Bill O'Reilly was greatly insulted uh, by that, and he's got uh, Silverman on here uh, to debate with him. And he's going to try to get him, okay? He's going to do a little gotcha question for him. It's going to throw Silverman for a loop, but that's part of the plan. And then we'll discuss the wonderful absurdity of it. Let's go to clip 11 first. Nobody knows religion is a scam. The only news here... Everybody people, knows. People I, I don't know, it. Mr. Silverman. Yes, you do. No, I don't. You're i got to tell you You that. sit here and you're skeptical every day, and then you go to church, and you get on your knees, and you pray to an Correct. invisible man in the sky. Invisible man in the sky. And you don't think that's a scam? No, I don't. You look uh, you know, and I'll tell you why. a man that was you know, built by a man? I'll tell you why it's not a scam, in my opinion. Uh -huh. All right? Tide goes in, tide goes out. Never a miscommunication. You can't explain that. You can explain why the tide goes tide in. Tide goes in, yeah. tide goes out. See the out. water, the tide <laughs> comes in and it goes out, Mr. Silverman. Uh, maybe it always comes in on top of no, Mount Olympus, out. who's making the tides go in and no, out. No, no, but you can't explain a scam that. and a myth of the same. The, the, you the can't myth explain. And religion it. are the same thing. It doesn't matter if I can explain it. It doesn't. That doesn't mean that an invisible magic man in the sky is doing and it. And you're free to believe that. Everybody knows. <laughs> oh come on, that was awesome, man. <laughs> but there's a purpose behind it. First of all, as to the tide. Anybody could explain it. It's the gravitational force of the moon and the sun and, and the uh, rotation of the earth. There is a perfectly logical scientific explanation for it. <laughs> There's no mystery behind it. But, so, but why does O'Reilly do that? I mean, why does he say, like, throw this random thing at him? That's the whole point. It's supposed to be random. It's supposed to confuse the guy until he goes, I don't know what you're talking about. And then O'Reilly goes, aha! And unfortunately, Silverman, who did a great job throughout the interview, fell for it there and said, I, I don't, because he wasn't prepared for a random question on the tides. He said, I don't know why they go. And he's like, aha! Hence, it must be Jesus. <laughs> and Silverman, did good, he said, look, it could be Thor. <laughs> How do we know it's Jesus? <laughs> so, now Obama's not, uh, I'm sorry, O'Reilly. That's an interesting Freudian slip. O'Reilly's not done yet. Uh, he's going to talk to him uh, a little bit more about uh, God and, and, and his assumptions. What good does it do you to insult 80% of the American people by saying they're too stupid to know we what they're doing? didn't say stupid. No, but if you say that the people are duped and I Gullible. can't possibly believe Gullible. it, Gullible. That's the you know, you're calling me a moron. Because I'm not calling you a moron. Yes, you are. I'm, it's the greatest scam in the history of the world. And then and I fall for it. And you I, fell for right. it. Right. Yeah. So I'm an idiot. No, I didn't say that. Well, man. then how Why could I not make, be? You know, your teaser for this segment was if it's a fact that there are religious no, no. people in public. If, there's, if it's a fact, according to you, that there is no God, then I'd have to be a moron to believe in a God. I'd have to be stupid. Well, we want you to think about that. <laughs> like they, I want you to think about that. Put a couple of thoughts behind it, Bill. <laughs> I'd have to be a moron to think that Jesus controls the tides. <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying anything, Bill. You are, okay? I didn't say a word. Look, the, it, but you know what the reality is? It, no, religious people aren't stupid. That's crazy talk. Look, we all get brainwashed, and I don't mean that in a negative way, when we're kids. Like, we get brainwashed to use a fork and a knife when we eat. Otherwise, we'd eat like this, right? So, and we get brainwashed in all the things. Hey, be nice to other people, etc. cetera. And, and if you're religious, one of the things that you get brainwashed into is your particular religion. And that's why kids who are born Muslim wind up being Muslim. Kids who are born Christian are, wind up being Christian. It's because they got, you know, they got taught that, right? That doesn't make you stupid. Well that I would ask you as an agnostic is that you, when you're an adult, that you think about it, right? And you say, hey, does that make sense? Does it make sense that I eat with a fork? Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Am I nice, being nice to other people? Yeah, that makes sense. Believing in a sky god who walks on water and controls the tides? Just think about it. That's all I'm saying. Jake, people don't know this about me, but I'm an underground gamer. I you like, are. I love to play video games. Well, then but... you're going to love our new sponsor, Gamefly. They're the largest online video game rental service in the world. 7,000 titles, new and classic. Also, no late fees, no due dates, shipping's always free. Go to Gamefly.com slash TYT for a free trial membership.